All right, here is your eye practice for pen. Um, just a warning, this took me about an hour and 45 minutes to do, so give yourself a lot of time to work on this, and don't wait to start. Um, this is different from a ballpoint pen, so um, this pen is like one that has liquid black ink in it. So it's a little bit different from the ballpoint pen. So depending on what you want to do your project in, um, you know, that is going to determine which practice assignment you do for your pen project. So we want to start everything the same way by kind of drawing the outline of the eye um, using a pencil. So I'm just going to speed this up a little bit right here. Um, but as always, feel free to pause the video if you need to catch up. In fact, that's what you should be doing is um, pausing this video uh, and making sure that you're caught up with all the things that I'm doing. Okay, so I'm going to slow it down again for the eyelashes just so that I can kind of explain what's happening here. Eyelashes are really where everybody struggles. Um, so I know it's kind of hard to see, but your eyelashes should not grow out of the eyeball themselves, but they should grow out of the eyelid. And you want to make sure that you are not making them go straight up. Every eyelash has a curve to it. Um, and all I'm doing, I'm not putting every single eyelash in here. I'm just putting like the major ones just so that I know the direction that they're going to be going. And if you'll notice the ones on the left kind of point straight out to the left and the ones on the right do the same thing. And the ones on the top sort of curve down before they, before they curve back up again. So those are just some things that I wanted to point out <clears throat> about eyelashes as you're drawing those in. And then I just drew in the pupil here. Um, and again, like the pupil is a really important part of your, um, your eye drawing. And if it's in the wrong place, it's going to screw up the whole thing. So you want to make sure that your pupil is right in the center of the iris, right? So it's like a target. So um, you should have the same amount of space from the outside of the pupil to the outside of the iris all the way around, right? So it's shaped like a target. It shouldn't be shaped like an olive. Okay, so now I'm going to go ahead and start shading in the center. Um, of that pupil with my pen and I'm just gonna kind of outline it first and then fill it in using scumbling or little circles and I'm making sure to avoid that shiny spot that's going over the pupil right there so it's not a perfect circle it's kind of like a circle with like a chunk taken out of it and you can start by filling it in with some hatching just to kind of get a nice dark value in there first and then cross over it with cross hatching and doing these layers um, will really help to fill in all of those spaces and make it as black as possible Okay, so I'm just going to speed this up again. So essentially, like, you're just trying to fill in this pupil <clears throat> as much as possible and make it as dark as possible. Um, and you can use hatching. You can use scumbling for that. Just whatever's going to make it look as solid as you can get it to look. And really work on filling in all of those holes so you get all those dark spaces nice and filled in. All right, so now we're working on the iris, and I'm going to go around the outer edge of my iris with just a nice black line. And now I'm going to do some um, hatching just kind of around that outer edge that's sort of pointing toward the shiny spot in the center there. So it's going to be sort of like a value scale um, using hatching, right? 
So it's going to be really, really dark as it's closer to the top. And I need to make sure to fill in that space between um, that line at the top and where the lines kind of separate from each other to make sure that it's black. But you definitely want to use hatching for this part because um, the inside of the iris has that sort of texture where it's like, um, you know, lines that are kind of almost like a sunburst kind of a thing coming from the iris all the way, um, you know, going all the way through the iris but from the pupil um, all the way out. So I'm just kind of thickening that line around the outer edge by using um, hatching that points towards the pupil. As I'm doing the lines on the bottom of the iris, um, you'll notice that they're a little bit shorter. Uh, and that's because more light is hitting that part of the eye, so there's going to be less dark values. Okay, so now I'm going in with my pencil and I'm putting some details inside the iris, like where the shadows and the light are going to be. So just kind of follow along with me and draw these like C shapes and U shapes in here. Um, and, you know, try and get them to be as close to what I'm doing as possible. I'll keep this part at regular speed because it's kind of hard to see um, on the video what I'm doing here. So for the most part, the rest of the inner part of the iris is just going to be hatching that goes toward the pupil and hatching that goes away from the pupil. And we're also going to fill in those little marks that I just made with my uh, mechanical pencil um, using hatching as well. So um, this is kind of contour hatching that is a reflection of the eyelashes on the on the top of the eye there. So those are going to be a little bit curved just like the eyelashes would be curved and um, you know like I said it's the reflection of the eyelashes um, onto the eye which will make it look really nice and realistic. And now you can go in once your ink is dry and erase the pencil marks that you made. But make sure your ink is dry. As you can see, it, mine wasn't super dry at that point. So now the rest of this is just going to involve more hatching. Um, so I'm going to speed it up a little bit. But again, you know, feel free to pause if you need to, um, rewind if you need to. And I'm using those little C shapes and U shapes as kind of a guide for like where to stop. So when I recorded this video, I was at school. Um, and so this is, uh, I had left and come back to it. And this whole section of the video is about 20 minutes long. And that's not sped up. So um, I've sped it up here for you guys. So it won't be that long. But it's going to take you at least that long to get this done. Um, so really, really take your time and focus and um, pay attention to all the little details and all the little things that are happening here um, so that you can get the best results possible.
All right, so now you're done with the inside part of your iris. Um, we're going to move on to the whites of the eyes. And even though they're white, they need to have some shading on them. So um, what I'm going to do now is just go in with my pencil and add a few more details here before we start the shading. And now we get to everybody's favorite stippling. So um, you're going to do some a whole bunch of dots up here in this little corner area. And again, the more dots that you put, the darker it's going to look, right?
So this is sped up to four times the speed. So really take your time with these dots. I'm going to go a little crazy and add some like veins and shadows and stuff in here. Um, but again, in order to get that really nice smooth shading, you really, really have to take your time with this. So now I'm moving to the skin above the eye and what you want to do is sort of the same thing. You're still going to do stippling because it's skin um, and it's a soft texture. So um, I like to kind of put a layer of dots that are really far apart first and then keep adding dots until it gets to the value that I want it to be, which is kind of the technique for stippling overall. 
And then when I'm putting this crease in, it's just a line, right? So I'm just drawing in that line um, and then stippling around it sort of the same way. So this is going to be, again, like a stippling value scale that's going to take you a ridiculously long amount of time. Um, but again, you know, patience is the most important thing when you're trying to make something awesome. Okay, once we have a good layer of stippling in, then we can add some creases over here because um, sometimes eyelids can be like a little bit shiny um, and they can have like some, some creases in there and a little bit of texture. So I'm just going to use some contour hatching um, to add some creases and then some stippling around that contour hatching and that will speed up the shading just a little bit and also add a little more texture to that eyelid.
All right, and then finally, everybody's favorite, the eyelashes. So I'm going to use those pencil marks that I had put in there already to do some longer eyelashes. And again, you want to remember your eyelashes um, on the right are just growing sort of straight out to the right, and they're like a little bit curved. And as they grow out of the eyelid, they grow down and then out. All right. And then as you get towards the top, they start to go up a little bit more, but they're still curved at the bottom. Remember, where they're growing out, they're curved. And sometimes it's a really sharp curve. So the shape of eyelashes can totally ruin your drawing. So just um, keep that in mind and really pay attention to the direction. They're not easy to do for anyone. All right, so once I'm pretty much done, I like to kind of take a look, um, step back and sort of take a look and see, like, where can I use a little more darker values? And um, I like to punch those out, get them in there, and make them a little bit darker. So that is pretty much it for the eye. Um, I'm definitely going to add a little bit more with the eyelashes and stuff here, but... I want you to keep in mind that this video took me quite a while to make. It was well over an hour. I would say this took like an hour and 45 minutes to two hours, um, judging by the length of each individual video that went into making this video. So um, take some breaks, give yourself some time. Um, definitely don't wait until the last minute to start this, uh, as you know, as I'm saying this at the end of the video, but, um, you know, just understand that these things take a little bit of time and they shouldn't be rushed if you want them to look good.